This is the full Hello piece here. there! You learned another letter! Letter O makes the sound O, oh, as in origami. Origami is Japanese paper folding. This one is a paper crane. <laughs> Look, I made lots of paper cranes just for you. <laughs> Cute. I like it. The thing I would say now, just quickly, does as like a superficial thing. I love foreground elements and like staggering of elements throughout the scene so i'm i'm a fan of you know staging not staging which is kind of elements in your scene like that but it kind of overlaps a bit too much subjectively here even here he got something here then he gets to here because that's an important point to look at and i feel like that, that needs to be not obstructed like that and then it's okay and then we're here and it's okay so to me Given that there's so much empty space here, I would put it here, and you can put even like an uh, even closer one up here, just because it would give you a nice silhouette with this dark color um, and stuff like that. You can even like some like in the board in the foreground. Like I like that stuff. I just feel like right now we want to keep these uh, Hello there. moments there when he waves as clean as possible, just because there's no need. Like I like this, I like that there, and you have that. The depth there and there's something going on but visually i would keep it somewhere here anything that doesn't obstruct this view hello there you other than that there's some good stuff i think you could hello there turn off the sounds just on that wave i think it would be okay to have a little bit of potential lean over this leg a bit more meaning that the, sh the weight shifts a bit over which then has a slight foot shift this guy i don't know what that scribble was but this foot will kind of rotate this way pivoting off of here only because if you look at the feet through all of this i mean there's a step there but through all of that it's kind of like that that ik feet i don't want to move them feel and it would be okay if someone's just doing this all the time or it'd be kind of like hey i'm showing you this and that's fine but when you have a big move like this i think we could loosen them by we it's the royal we i know you're doing all the work but we could loosen up the character bit where he goes hey and even if that's just a slight lean with a slight rotational adjustment there not taking the foot off and taking a step let's see the rest is cool because you do have through that movement you got body movement in here like there's a good connectivity throughout all of this if you don't that turn I like that little head move and that wobble on the shell. And that's fine too. I'm going to put back the sound just in case for this. Hello there. Hello there. This might be a bit poppy in hello there. How it opens up ba -ba, over two frames. And then you can see how it locks from here to here. There's nothing else. If you could have maybe two or three frames extending and even overshooting a bit and coming back to that so it doesn't feel like an artman stop motion pop into shapes none that that's wrong but that's just that's not the style of it there given the fluidity of everything else i feel like you want to retain that for consistency hello there you learn and even hello there you learn i think you could keep the mouth open where it's hello there you Versus going back into a default. You learned enough. I mean, it's not a default because there's a smile, but like the, the mouth doesn't have to close in between words. That's my point. Eh, you learned another letter. Eh, you learned there. You. I think you is a bit stronger than the other ones. I think you have a little bit of head accent up and down. You learned another letter. Another letter. And even. Even in a letter, even like that at the end, a little bit of up and down, just kind of, because you listen to the sounds. Hello there. Na, na, na. You do that, right? Like those accents, not that you have to hit them all the time, but every now and then it'll be kind of, for connectivity's sake, be nice to kind of um, have the sound affect the head. Hello there. You learned another letter. Yeah. Letter O makes the sound. I mean, you can be also on the nose when he goes. Letter O. O instead of down and then back it could be down back like this so it's almost like the shape creates 
An O, if that makes sense. An O face there. Letter O makes the sound. O makes the sound. O makes the sound. And I think it makes. Let me put on scrubbing here. O makes the... I think that is a bit big for makes the, and it's a the, so it would be. I don't know if you have a tongue, actually, to be honest. After all this time, I don't know if you have a tongue. But I would keep it maybe this wide and have a tongue out for the. Makes the sound. I think the the is too big. Sound. Oh. Oh. As in. And even here. Oh. And then I will go back to maybe up to here and not close it. Because then you go from ah uh, to here. As in. Because then he continues with ah. So it's ah. Uh, as in. So that you can just kind of keep it in that opening size. As in. Let's go back to the bottom. Here. Learned another letter. Letter O makes the sound. Oh. Yeah, by the way, it's it's fine. Let me take this scrubbing off here. Scrubbing. Because so I like that. It's a good lead to this. He looks. This is important. O make Just again, the foreground thing. the sound. Oh. As it. And that is fine. Because I think it's a kid's thing to sound like that makes sense. Oh. Into that. Probably, personally, I will bring in the O here. Oh. Just because, again, in terms of silhouette, it's empty versus that it's in front of the tree. As in, or oh, as in, or again. And then actually, instead of as in, as in, going this way, I would actually do as in, going the other way, so the whole thing leads over there into that point in the move and the camera move to the screen right area. As in, origami. Or Origami. I do like this though, that the arm goes up on Origami. On that. Origami. So it gives a big, big energy change, but then I would still have a little bit more rotation up and down in the head. In origami. And that would be origami again with a little flourish. Me. Origami is Japanese. That's really cute. I mean, I like all of this. Got the turns, you got the the lifting of this side, so not just the foot roll in one axis move here. I think that's great. Origami. Sometimes it's a bit wobbly. Watch this knee here. Origami. See that? Just even in through here when he goes up at the beginning. If it's borderline overextended IK where the leg overstretches a little bit. It's not super poppy though, but right there. Yeah. Origami. That knee's a bit wobbly. Origami. So you would have to compensate with maybe a slight foot roll if you can't see it or lower it a bit more. I don't know if you have a stretch function on this. Origami. I do like this, the delicateness of that. Origami. There's little changes in, in the hand, in the finger pose. And also the wobble, not the wobble, but the up and down because of the body. That's great. Origami. Origami is Japanese. Yeah, it's really cute. The only thing is once you get to here, then it gets a bit stiff. And I know you can't do much because of the shell, but you have that, that, and then the head. Ready? That feels like it's one big piece. So it would separate that. And I will probably lead with those arms. Because that's now... He's going over there. Audience is looking here. The origami. Is picks it up. And that's the focus. And I think with everything else moving, we're almost a bit like, whoa, where am I looking? Everything is moving. But imagine he gets there and then stays put. He has a little bit of overlap impact on the head because of the steps here. But then these are the things that move. So imagine you're doing this with those arms, but the body is still here. And he might track the head and follow this, maybe three, four frames delayed. So basically this starts moving, then this starts moving a couple of frames later. Then this starts to turn because of now the arms and the body. Japanese paper fold. Is Japanese paper folding. But the accents are better here. Is Japanese paper folding. Japanese paper folding. Yeah, I like that part there. Japanese paper fold. I like the timing of this. How it just goes delicately down. Japanese paper folding. Paper folding. Japanese paper folding. It's a bit even in through there. With almost a bit of a weird pivot off the middle finger. You can see in 2D space. Kind of sticks there. I'm kind of vary the timing potentially. The drop or lift or rotate up so we get away from that sticky frame through there. It's not super sticky all the time. It has a slight pivot off that fingertip. This one. Japanese paper folding. 
keep a folding. I think your closing on folding is too soon. Is paper folding? Bit soon. Let's see. Japanese paper folding. Yeah, I mean, folding. I think that scrub is maybe a bit off. When I watch it in real time, it feels a frame or two too soon. Is paper folding? Yeah. This one. Folding. This one is a paper crane. <laughs> I like this a lot. It's a good focus, good keep alive, and you got a little giggle in the body that that is also in those in the arms. <laughs> look, I think that's really great. Look, this I would go look, but now we're having overlapping arms, so I would either bring that arm a bit lower and the origami a bit higher, or at this point, let me see, it could even be a bigger turn, almost cheat and have that hand. Yeah, might be too far. I don't want to hide it completely behind the body, but I would just separate these for a cleaner silhouette because you already have a bit of a busy background with this, this, this in terms of lines and textures. So I want to keep this silhouette as clean as possible because you do want to lead the audience over there. We're following this with that, and I want to, that should be clear. Look, I made lots of paper cranes. I made lots of paper cranes. The cranes is a bit, I like that there's an accent in the body going up. But then it feels stiff again throughout there. And I would still separate head and body a bit more and have a slight flourish accent in the head on crane. Of paper cranes just for you. Like this is nice. How how here the head drags a bit and has that separation. Made lots of paper Right through the stop. Let me just quickly check what the arm is doing. There's something. This is a bit. Watch the root. You're going forward, slows down a bit. And then, whoa, right there, the root goes forward a bit too fast. It happens almost at the same time as the leg goes forward there. So that leg move, that body and the leg connection there is a bit too parented. So I would ease into that forward move a bit. You know, so it's not this, this, and suddenly, whoa, we're moving forward and then slow, slow, slow. So that the leg can lead a bit more. Yeah, it's too fast. Even if you would do it, then this arm would drag a bit more because it's, it's a sudden body move that the arm would inherit immediately. And then we have an immediate stop. And even if you would immediately stop for whatever reason, then this arm would shoot forward a bit for some overshoot and then drag there. So watch out just for that root moment there. Lots of paper crap. So that goes into everything, like that sudden body move. Then you would have to have the head drag a bit more. Of paper cranes, just for you. Watch out, just for you. It's a bit edgy, forming a little tangent there. I will keep that. It's a nice, clean silhouette. So you know you don't have the thumb here as a tangent, or even over here might be on. So I like what you're doing here. It's just close to this. So what are we doing here? Then I would just delay the camera, or maybe don't go as far. You know what I mean? Because the interest is this. So if you're going over here, we might not need all of this. So you could technically reframe so that your frame more like this. That's as far as you go. That's still in the third. And then you have your arm that's going to be nicely cleaned up here, right? So imagine you're going this far to the right. Gives you a nice room here. <laughs> Dies a bit at the end. I think with the fade out. I think the whole animation ends and then you fade out because you can see the cranes they stop rotating and he stops moving. So maybe fade out sooner or maybe just keep going with some keep alive and keep going with those rotations. And that's kind of that. Super cute. It's getting better and better. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.